17-year-old Jaden Parkinson moved into One Foot Forward Hostel for teens in November 2013. Less than a month later, she walked out the door and wasn't seen or heard from again. I want to know what kept her from returning to her accommodation that day. I've done some digging and discovered the hostel where Jaden was living had its issues. There are claims of antisocial and aggressive behaviour from its residents. Could this have driven Jaden to run away? Yeah, yeah, I can come straight away. Thank you. I've managed to track down a journalist who was working in Oxford at the time, and he knows quite a bit about the hostel, so I'm hoping that he can tell me some more. Oxford Mail reporter Pete Hughes has covered the area for the last decade. Thanks for meeting me today. You were one of the first journalists to report it. I really want to know more about like, what people in the community felt once Jaden's story had broken. The whole of Oxfordshire, everyone who was in our sort of patch was worried about this girl. She was potentially vulnerable. That hostel definitely had a reputation in the area. When Jaden was staying there, it was an environment where people who were already from troubled backgrounds were staying, bringing elements of their lives to that hostel that were unhelpful. That may have got her into more trouble, may have made some situations in her life worse than they were before. So not the kind of place that someone like Jaden should really have ever been? Yes. So this is the hostel that Jaden lived at for a period of time. It's closed down now. I can only imagine a house full of vulnerable young adults all mixing together. It couldn't have been a good place for Jaden to be at she could have potentially have been a really easy target in somewhere like this. From the picture Pete has painted, I get the impression the hostel could have been chaotic at times. Maybe the drama of the other residents was too much for Jaden and she decided to split. Was she running away from something or someone that she met there, hoping for a fresh start? Her friends have told me that she found it easy to fit in. Oh, I couldn't help that. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew anyone who didn't like her. Growing up, she got on with everybody. Everyone wanted to be around her. She had no enemies. You know, she'd never made any trouble. She never owed money to anybody. By December 12th, eight days after she was first reported missing, there were no leads on Jaden's whereabouts. Senior investigating officer at Thames Valley Police, Chris Ward, took over her case. Jaden's case came into the major crime unit for me to review because she'd been missing for over 10 days and she had made no contact with anybody. It's almost impossible to go missing without leaving the footprint. Financial records, mobile phone records. Jaden didn't appear on any of the checks that we carried out. I'm very concerned about Jaden. Something had happened to her.